Hi. The promise of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 23 verses 35 to 39 that there may come upon you all the righteous blood spilled on earth from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah son of Berechiah who you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar truly I say to you all these things will come upon this generation Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the killer of the prophets and the stoner of those who sent forth to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together, the way a hen gathers her chicks together under her wings. But you people did not want it. Look, your house is abandoned to you. For I say to you, you will by no means see me from henceforth until you say blessed is he that comes in Jehovah's name in Matthew 20 verse 28 just as the son of man came not to be ministered to but to minister and to give his soul a ransom in exchange for many John chapter 12 in verse 47 and 48 but if anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them I do not judge him for I come not to judge the world but to save the world he that disregards me and does not receive my sayings has one to judge him the word that I have spoken is what will judge him in the last days or in the last day in Luke chapter 21 furthermore when you see Jerusalem surrounded by encamped armies then know that the desolating of her has drawn near then let those in Judea begin fleeing to the mountains and let those in the midst of her withdraw and let those in the country places not enter into her because these are days for meting out justice that all the things written may be fulfilled. Woe to the pregnant woman and the one suckling a baby in those days, for there will be great necessity upon the land and wrath on this people, and they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive into all the nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled on by the nations until the appointed times of the nations are fulfilled. But Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them for this, for, the, for they do not know what they are doing. In Luke chapter 22, verses 28 to 30, However, you are the ones that have stuck with me in my trials, and I make a covenant with you just as my father has made a covenant with me for a kingdom that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones to judge the 12 tribes of Israel so just uh, as as a note to these the first one that I read from Matthew 23 where it talks about Jerusalem Jerusalem the killer of the prophets I remember using this in field service as a, a proof text that Israel was out of the picture now. Um, you know, they were, they'd lost their hope. That was my plan A failed. But I had never noticed that when the Watchtower recommended us using this in the reasoning book for that very purpose, they leave out verse 39. Let me read to you again what verse 39 says right after saying your house is abandoned to you the part that I remembered he says for I say to you you will by no means see me from henceforth until you say blessed is he that comes in Jehovah's name that word until makes all the difference in the world there will be a time when they will say, Blessed is he 
that comes in the name of Jehovah. Another point, uh, after, after the uh, communication about Jerusalem's fall, Jesus says in chapter 23, verse 34, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Are we to understand that the Father is not going to listen to the Son's request? Is he, he going to reject or deny him what he prays for? These are just some things to think about when it comes to how Jesus viewed Israel. <laughs> 